Hello, this morning we're going to do some more of our English practices. But before we begin, let's talk a little bit about our weather because as we can see, it's uh, not really uh, too cloudy, but we do have a little bit of the clouds and it is much brighter. But I'm thinking this is something that we've seen before too. And what would happen is later this afternoon, maybe uh, close to evening, we will have the rain again. So uh, we'll see later on if this kind of uh, weather will change and if my prediction uh, will be true or not. So um, we'll see later on, okay? Now, the other thing that I'd like to say is something about the the new video from Easy German because there they talk about the things that you can encounter when we uh, when we are visiting or when we are there in Germany and uh, one of the things that caught my attention was if our neighbor is uh, making all this uh, noise uh, when he arrives and when he shuts the door uh, some of the folks there uh, would uh, tell him directly you're doing this intentionally uh, and this is something that we can um, observe being done in other places like uh, the US although in those uh, uh, places from what we've observed too from television is that well uh, the guys who've been told that they are intentionally doing these uh, noise would likely just say no no I'm not I'm not doing anything in intentionally it's just how I close the door or maybe they'd say uh, well it's 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 not true that I am doing this thing to to uh, to make noise intentionally uh, something like that and and uh, one of the things that we can uh, learn to is that uh, from there if we do know and in fact the guy is is uh, intentionally doing these things uh, then we have uh, we we have the guy saying stuff that are not true uh, he is lying and what is the correct uh, solution to to solve this problem then when we already know that he is doing these things intentionally uh, and yet he's saying that no it's it's not true so it's a matter of finding out um, uh, the truth yes and once we know the truth and uh, we know that he's lying how do we how do we stop him from continuing on with making all these noise and I'm thinking that if we've already told the neighbor that uh, well it's too loud you're um, you're making a lot of noise can you um, sort of quiet it down quiet be quiet um, and they still continue as if they didn't hear us at all then we can go to uh, the police station for example and tell them uh, about it make a report and this is something too that we can learn from the history of Germany and Japan actually too because at the time I think it was in the 1860s Japan was also looking at the systems available systems that exist in other parts of the world and they also learned that in Germany um, they have these uh, like police boxes police stations where people can file reports and one of the things that we um, can file reports of is um, if we see that our neighbor is getting all these um, uh, items all these deliveries like uh, luxury vehicles television then we want to know um, what his job is because it looks like he's he's getting a lot of these things and he has a lot of money but we don't really quite know what his job is really uh, supposed to be and um, we might uh, um, we might uh, just file a report to the police to investigate and it's something that we can also do here so that uh, uh, well at least we we can stop all the all the noise pollution that we uh, we uh, we hear and we uh, observe here in in this part of the uh, the city okay so this is one of the things that we can do to solve the the problem okay and this is something that I've already done too 
um, and we'll see later on if um, the solution um, the solution is uh, is something that we can already uh, uh, experience or are we going to wait more uh, for more uh, reports or for many more years before we actually experience the uh, well the solution which is to 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 get these uh, smuggler terrorists to shut up so that they they don't continue to make more noise okay okay so now let's go on to the Philnitz exam and we are now in uh, uh, number 67 for number 67 uh, it's talking about OJT and we know that OJT is on job training now um, it's asking us among the choices here which is an example of OJT and for this one I did choose the correct answer although it took me a little bit longer because it looked like the rest of the the choices were kind of like uh, okay too that in fact the correct answer is supposed to be you let the the new guys the trainees um, take part in a in a project and learn by doing because the other options the other choices seem to say that why don't we give them a a course that they can take and learn from there but when we talk about OJT is on job training it's it's not really taking more classes more courses because the students have already done that and what they need is to actually take part in a project and work on something and learn from there now the other choice um, uh, says something about um, let the the new guys the trainees write their career goals and make plans how they will achieve those goals but the problem with that is if you have a plan it's mostly um, a plan it's it's something that you've thought up it's something that you you intend to do but you haven't really done done it yet um, and in this case what we want you to do is work work on the plan not not think about a plan not have all these ideas about the the stuff that you want to achieve and really work on it maybe um, join a project that's uh, going to fulfill your goals and that's uh, really what the OJT is supposed to be and not just some kind of thinking about ideas and thinking about goals and thinking about plans and not really doing the correct action to achieve those goals okay now let's go on to number 68 and for number 68 we have the key phrase here company-wide information system now this one also I got the correct answer but it took me a little bit longer to to arrive at the correct answer because um, the other choices have something like chief technology officer and the correct answer is chief information officer so what's the difference between these two right and I, I went back to the to the question and the key phrase which says company-wide information so since we have the information word here then I chose the the one with the information and I do remember that uh, certain companies would have a CDO which is a chief technology officer and I'm thinking they're morely they're more of the guys who develop technology which we are going to sell uh, the technology that we're selling um, but the information officer the information guy is doing stuff within the company for the, the members the employees of the company so that they can share information much faster they might be using technology uh, too but it's mostly uh, to share information so that members of the company can immediately know um, the notifications the new uh, the new stuff that they, they they've um, um, maybe uh, encountered uh, and and from there we know that the uh, correct answer should be chief information officer instead of chief technology officer okay okay so we stop here for now and continue on with some of our practices tomorrow morning thanks for joining me today too and we'll see each other soon